Well, greetings, everybody. In the name of the most powerful, most high God, the one, the creator, the truth, way, and the life. On the that is life, the sword of the spirit, the most high. Yeah, I'm gonna read um this book of Tina Plaginger's book, Trading on Serpents, Daily Devotional for those who are bullied, against, stalked, or harassed. <clears throat> At least the January first. It's pretty interesting. It has a lot of like information, a lot of helpful information. To very spiritual too. So January first, there's something addicting about a secret. Be more at be marvel at the size of these organizations. How many members swarm one person? The hate groups are a secret society. Unless you are a perpetrator or a targeted individual, the hate groups are a secret society, huh? Unless you are a perpetrator or targeted individual, you ha you have never heard of them. Yeah, indeed, you have never heard of them as if you're a perpetrator or targeted individual. And secret societies are hate groups, too. And all they do is do abominations in their hate groups. So this is really good information. We cannot believe our life to turn out like it is. This is like getting dropped into the twilight zone. Yeah, this is the twilight zone. This um, paradigm and world we live in is like a twilight zone. Evil energy can be cunning and powerful. Yeah, it's cunning and powerful. We usually do not pay it any mind until we are wallowing neck deep in it. A lot of consider us consider ourselves average. We grew up in the average families. We learned right from wrong, landed jobs, married, had kids. You see, this this tells a lot. A lot of us consider ourselves average. We consider it, grew up in average families. We learned right from wrong, landed jobs, married, and kids of society. Basically. Uh, basic conformity open darn right wrong landed job married had kids bought the house you know society conformity and uh, basically uh, I don't know, it goes in circles and doesn't lead anywhere they people what they do is land jobs marry kids buy a house and Follow their um their career job and worship you know the career life career job life path whatever you know and they uh, drown in their um, ignorance their vanity and materialism <laughs> you know but it's just all about the materials. And uh, and build the white picket fence. I'm gonna read again. So we're gonna continue reading. We rolled with the punches that life threw away. We felt compelled to take the principles and values as learned as kids and secretly yearn to pass them on to our next generations. Felt compelled to keep the principles and values we learned as kids. Secretly learn to pass them on to our next generation. That sounds so simple, nevertheless. Yeah, life isn't simple. It's not just, uh, life isn't just about the principles and values. And There's a lot to learn about life. It has many mysteries. And many mysteries, basically, life has many mysteries. Like God has many mysteries. That sounds similar. Life is not simple nor easy. We constantly come up against hard lessons. It seems we are always facing change. 
Life is hard enough without people. Yeah, we're always facing change, that's true. Life is hard enough without people making themselves out as vindicators. We do not learn about these end time battles filled with spiritual warfare until we are on the job as a targeted individual. And we do not learn about the end time battles or anything about the truth that the the evil but the truth of the evil that engulfs this dark world. We uh some a lot of the religions just stick to their Bible when they don't go to the aspects of, you know, the truth which would be, you know, and in the political field or in the military field and in the religion aspect, you know, and uh politics, they don't explore the aspects of the truth. They just stick to their Bibles and that's not right because you know that's uh you know the truth we need to know the whole truth and the truth got aspects to it too we do not learn about these end time battles filled with spiritual warfare to be on the job as targeted individuals we may not know that we are he here to take a stand for the kingdom of the god and we may have gray hair before we ever find our way to the bible yep we have gray hair before we find our way to the bible yeah but the bible is a good instruction to the truth in god but you must implement it into your daily life you know, because what's the point of reading a Bible? A Bible could be used for evil, but in the right hand, it could also be used for good as well. I well, basically, you implement it in your daily life. It is the Word of God in the, in the right hand and it shows you what you're going through, what you're going to go through and what you have been going through. Go through in the future, you know, where we're going. But you must implement it in your daily life. And, um, and in the world too. Because the Bible is, it is about, um, it, it mentions the world and, you know, the wickedness and the, uh, other corruption. So, you must know that, uh, not just look in the Bibles, but we look outside, too, like in the, the world. And you must go into the aspects of truth and deeper into truth and we grow and learn and we learn as we grow and we grow as we learn. You know. Alright, we have gray hair before in Satan's desperate attempt to win souls he uses gang stalking to extract the art of suicide. So yeah, and this was and Satan's desperate attempt to win souls he used against us to illustrate the great art of suicide. Satan's desperate attempt he won soul to win souls to illustrate the art of suicide. Yeah, he uses suicide and gang stalking to to win over souls, but and they, they gang stalk and bully people. Do that, do that so that they could uh, sacrifice human beings, basically, to power up their world system. The entire attempt behind bullying and gets time to cause the target individual to kill themselves, to sacrifice itself to Satan. How horrible. We must now view the Bible as destruction, a book, and not know how to win the war. 
This is why God has given us freedom of choice. Committing suicide is not the answer. It may not be what I expected, but I do have a life worth living here. Yep. The Bible is just a really good instruction to, and a manual. But we're just gonna go into it. You must um, be led in by the the Holy Spirit of God. He can lead you in to the truth. Otherwise, there's only gonna be another religion if he doesn't lead you into the Bible. Because uh, people read the Bible and reading religions like in the Christianity and Catholics, they don't go from out of that Bible. They don't go out of there. You know, <laughs> and uh, to to grow, we we must and learn. We must learn to let go. And well, uh, going deeper into truth, and uh, and we must learn to obey God and, and keep going to where he leads us and uh, go to feed our souls and uh, spiritual food so that we may um, be an obedient to God. And that's what it's about. Uh, God bless you guys and have a good day, night in Jesus Christ. Amen. Remember to grow and learn. We must learn to obey God and and we must get out of our comfort zones and so that we could grow and learn and uh, become that perfect image of God must not be stuck in religion and ridiculous um, tradition and uh, vanity and delusion of uh, of people in general and our religion and lies of the devil but we must strive we must uh, that conscious effort to keep going, keep pushing into God. Good night.